Tripods, you think they're incredibly boring, but you're wrong because... Alright, they're a little bit boring, but they're incredibly useful because otherwise this video would look like this. Ipso facto, tripods are fantastic, alright? Alright, still boring, so let's keep this quick and snappy. Here are five things you should look out for when you're buying a tripod. Number one, stability. If you can, test out the tripod. Take your camera to the camera shop, put it on the tripod, press the shutter button down, push it about. Does it wobble? Is it top heavy? Does it balance a plate of jelly? Yes. Now, I've tried some cheap tripods before, and they literally blow away in the wind. It doesn't have to be like the huge ass tripod that I usually use, which some of you have asked about, to which I answer, the Manfrotto M Pro 535. I mean, you can get stability in something that is lightweight and not huge ass, like this. I mean, it doesn't even have an ass. This is my tripod for stills, catchily named Gitzo GT0545 T Series Zero Traveler with GH1382TQD head. Rolls off the tongue. Good thing is that it doesn't roll over, mind you. It doesn't even budge when you're pressing down on that button. What more could you ask for in life, apart from beer that stays cold and never seeing a dentist again? It does make a difference when you're pressing the shutter button on your camera when it's mounted to a solid tripod versus one that's totally wobbly town. You could completely fuck up your long exposures, your panoramas, your HDRs if you don't already fuck it up by making it look like a digital diarrhea spray of all of the colours of the rainbow. Enough scat talk, let's talk about hooks. This B3 Live may sound like a product for ladies, but it's light at a little over 2 kilograms and it holds up to 4. Put your bag on the hook to pull the tripod down, making it less likely to sway. Win-win. Support. Don't just look how heavy the thing weighs, look at how much it can handle, the payload, but don't load it up to its limit. Give it a bit of leeway. Ni hao, wo shi li wei. Well, you could put leeway on your tripod so long as he's less than the payload limit. Yet yeah, no need to just go for the biggest, strongest, heaviest tripod possible. Get one you're comfortable carrying. Carrying the big tripod up that peak was as comfortable as a hernia. Surprised it didn't give me one actually. Next up, the key to an ultimate three-legged friend is a good head. Sounded dirty, but I didn't mean it. For a change. Now if you buy one of those posh tripods where the legs don't come with a head, make sure you buy a head that handles the same amount of weight as the legs do. A lot of thought needs to be put into the purchase of this thing. You could say, you need to use your head. <laughs> you can get removable heads offering up versatility. All heads are my choice for stills and sounds rude too. Quick to adjust where the camera's pointing. Pan tilt heads are great for video because you can have just the pan or the tilt movement. Quick release bases that don't need coins are brilliant. And so are Arca Swiss plates because they're Swiss like cheese. Now all of these points about the practical elements of the tripod, but quite often people don't think about the speed. It is important to have a tripod that is quick to set up, otherwise you might miss that elusive shot, whether it be a beautiful sunset or the sky splitting in two. Or do I be a bit more concerned about the sky splitting in two to be taking photo? Speed is of the essence. Legs that flip out and click into place saves time over these tab things. Twist locks are quite intuitive, but it takes time to lock and unlock, especially if you forget which way to twist. Flip locks are quicker, as are legs that shoot out like this, although probably not designed to do this. Flip locks are quick to lock and also you can visually see when they are locked or unlocked. <sighs> Too slow. Whatever. Now this last point is about height. Ideally you'd get a tripod that extends all the way to your eye level, otherwise when you're looking through the viewfinder you'll be bending over like this. <laughs> well, at least I got a handful. Oh, fuck.
Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, my saliva's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Lovely, thank you for making it this far into the video. I hope you found it informative, if not... Well, I hope you found it informative anyway. Please subscribe to the channel and watch whatever's here.